Radio mates and my friends, time's review of a classic movie, Blackbeard the Pilot. Yes, I said in some dumb video that I would go let someone pick it. Ha! In your face. Not in the mood. I'd rather pick it myself. The film begins following a bra a Brit Navy lieutenant named Robert Maynary, who sets out to earn a reward for proving the pirate he and Henry Morgan, also engaged in piracy. Manning posts as a surgeon on the boat ship the pirate Charlie Belmore, who believes the league with Morgan. Once married and a follow spy break from on board, they discover that the pirate Blackbeard, who murdered Belmore, has taken over as captain. Also on board, Edwin manifests a pirate daughter who is going to marry Belmore. Blackbeard knows that Morgan loves me. Wait a minute. This is the wrong movie! Whoopsie doodles. Sorry about that, guys. This is the wrong one. I'm looking for black beard. Guys, you gave me the wrong script. Oops. Sorry, Mom. Uh, kids. Seriously. What am I going to do with you guys? I don't know. Come on, quickly. Got it. Thank you. All right. Now, this is how it really starts. Steve Walker, arid in Maryland, sea coast town, called Gold Dolphin, to take possession of the track coach of Go Dolphin College. That night he arrowed a concert with a charity bourgeois at the hotel where he would be boarding at the Blackbeard's Inn, named after the notorious most evil spy Captain Edward Teach, or known as Blackbeard. Now run into the daughter of Puccini, an elder descendant of the pirate crew, and the inn had been built with timber of ships that had been run in bay. The owner attempted to pay their mortgage to keep the inn from being brought in. Local crime boss, Silky Seymour, who wants to build a, <laughs> a dumb casserole. In case I know. Oh. I can't really read it out. Um, a place to play games like Lost like Los Pegasus, you know. Games and all that. Steve clearly discovered his track team shortcomings and runs deployed to the Deer Gold Dolphin College to football coach Seymour. He also makes the acquaintance of the attractive gold, Golden Dolphin professor Joanne Baker, who is excited to help the elderly lady who saved the Blackbeards in. At the bid and war for football coach at the charity auction, Steve wins a, well, an antique bed at once. Oh my Blackbeard. Oh my god. Well, Blackbeard's tenth wife, Aldea Teach, who was reported for being a witch. Inside a hollow wooden handle, the bed warmer is hidden a book of magic spells that had once been prophesied of the tenth wife. Jeez, whoever thought that, uh, that Blackbeard had so many wives? I mean, ten wives! Whoa, I wonder how many kids he made in the bed with her. <laughs> I mean, to bring your eyes and ears one who is bound to limbo. And then the conjured that the ghost of Blackbeard who appears as a social into a drunk and cursed his wife for existing in limbo unless he had performed a good deed. So in the end, if he doesn't do anything, Black Beaver is stuck and bound to another by the power of a spell. And when verge of reluctance, Steve can hear the ghost. As a resort, Steve must deal with the antics of a werewolf pirate while attempting to reveal the Golden Dolphin track learned team from a relationship with Joe Ann. Steve is partially arrested for drunken driving. When Black we attempt to drive a stained automobile, steering like a pirate ship, because the arresting officer can't see Blackbeard because Blackbeard riding a cop's motorcycle crashing the tree, Steve spends the night in jail. Andre Speed reminds Blackbeard that if he does a good deed, he's going to be broken. Which is true and all of that, because I know magic. Steve asks Blackbeard for his treasure to help his to help the daughter of the Buccaneers, who descendants of the of the uh, pirates, as they as I as I read here. But Blackbeard admits that he spent all the money Steve decides not to trust Blackbeard, and Steve is released from jail the next morning due to lack of evidence. But he's put on a property of college, forced to win the big track meet, and be fired from his party. The problem is that Steve's team is sorrowfully weak and only do not stand a chance of winning. But Blackbeard is firmly told by Steve more than once, nothing to fear. However, 
Either but Blackbeard created a further complication by stealing one of the end's Morgan payments and bettering off on Steve's track team. Blackbeard actually used his ghostly powers to help go Dolphin. Oh my goodness, it goes his hope and a lot. And I can tell you this much, spiritual will and help is a good thing, but those who do not always bring bad luck. Steve is first outraged by the pirates in duration, but he decided the greater good is to win the money for the sake of the end. He also accepted that the pirates helped in shaking down Silky Seymour and his thugs, and it was a whole shebang of battles. And believe me, it was a whole shebang, as it is. First, a lady who, put, who was... Blackbeard used, used his abilities to make them believe that it was his girlfriend, and that was causing all the ruckus. In the end, they lost it all, and Steve ended up getting all the money back. With the mortgage paid, Blackbeard had performed a good deed and released the curse. After Steve asked the ladies and Joanne to recruit the spell, they rendered Blackbeard a visit to them, and Blackbeard bid them all goodbye to part and join his former crew, leaving Steve and Joanne to pursue their future together. <laughs> now then. This is actually based on a book, also. And this movie was produced in 1968. American Italian Fantasy Comedy. Now, I watched this movie only like two years ago, and it got me interested in the pirates and all that. It's also based on a novel, though. Ooh. Based on a novel? I didn't even know that. <laughs> Great script writing, girls. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> That's my girl. In the original novel, instead of a track coach, two teenage boys found a book of bringing the ghost back beard. Listen, Peter unsolvably approached pirate back beard, a charming in contrast to Steve's version of the character. Whoa. Yeah. This movie was really a good movie, I would say. And it's a classic, even. And I would say it's a good movie. All I can say is this. Those who love pirate Disney movies are aiming to love this one. And if any of you have a Halloween night or wear a, pi a pirate suit, just remember this. Disney's first pirate movie was Blackbeard's Ghost. Ha 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 ha. So, enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And see you next time for more fun. With me. See you guys. Okay, my brony watchers. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs>